Hey guys, what's up? Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you uh, a product I bought uh, not too terribly long ago, um, but want to share what I love and hate about it. It's the WinBook TW801 8-inch Windows tablet. Came preloaded with Windows 8. Um, and, you know, I've been using it a little bit off and on, and uh, it, it, I did get it because of the whole do the work and play stuff with it. You know, particularly since I'm working on a lot of files that I keep in Dropbox and in Google Drive, things like that. It, it seemed, well, maybe I should get a tablet that supports Windows so that when I uh, work directly with those files, everything syncs up. So um, I did kind of buy into the whole Microsoft you know, one tablet for everything deal. Obviously, I didn't go very high end. You can find these tablets uh, all over. Uh, this one is, you know, under a couple hundred bucks. Uh, the stats wise, it has two gig of DRAM, 32 gig storage uh, on flash. It has a micro SD card, headphone jack, a charger, uh, micro HDMI out, one USB and um, micro USB to, pow to power it and to plug on. A couple speakers here on the back. It has that slightly rubberized coating, kind of like you'll find on, um, you know, uh, night vision skulls and binoculars and things like that. Uh, it's not bad, but you know, I, the metal case or plastic would be fine with me. It kind of shows a little fingerprinting. Uh, the screen is okay. It's fairly thick. Let me show you on my iPad mini. Um, next to it, it may be a little, let me get them even here, maybe a little hard to tell because of the curves there, but the iPad mini is definitely thinner and <clears throat> it is um, shorter, but the mini is a little wider. So, you know, for both me and eight inch display, I think if you were to hold both of these, uh, you would gravitate towards the mini. Okay. As you know, I like Apple products. The camera on the back, actually have never ever used it. And <clears throat> one of the things that, as I was using it, I kind of was holding out for Windows 10 because my gripes, I thought, well, maybe maybe they'll, they'll get worked out. So, um, first of all, let me say it, it is updated to Windows 10. Uh, the one thing, one thing I don't like about it is there's this power on button here. And sometimes I feel like I've hit this Windows button and it's come on. But maybe it's not, maybe I've just been going crazy because the only way to turn it on is to hit this power button. And you can see it, it comes on. It's a little laggy. Okay, there, it finally came on. Um, <clears throat> so there, you get that with Windows 10. I, uh, let's see, I guess I have something here sitting up. And I want to say, let's see if we can get it to reorient okay that's my my first gripe here is that it takes a while hello to detect and reorient itself maybe not that big of a deal when you're using um you know a windows machine but that was one of my gripes not only does it um take a while to reorient it kind of stutters as it as it uh um redisplays and it's kind of annoying. It's definitely not smooth. Like if you take an iPad and, uh, move, oh, I've got my rotation lock on there. But if you take an iPad and rotate it around, it almost, it's it's kind of animated. You you get the feeling that it's doing all that. Um, okay, neither here nor there, uh, you, you get it. Um, the light sensor is somewhere, I think it's right here. And if I cover it up, You'll notice that the the display doesn't dim and the reason is i turned the light sensor off or the auto dimming feature off and why did i do that because when you're holding it 